Hello everyone, I am Dr. Girira Sharma and today we will discuss about ventilator graphics. So ventilator graphics are very important for ventilating a baby, to adjust ventilator settings, to fine tune ventilator settings, to prevent the complications of ventilation. So basically two types of ventilator graphics are there. First is scalar and second loops. So scalar graphics we plot against the time. Pressure versus time, flow versus time, volume versus time. So these scalar graphics we plot against the time. Second graphics are loops. Loops we plot against each other like pressure volume loop or flow volume loop. So five times of graphics are there. So these graphics will see one by one. First pressure time, flow time, volume time, then loops, pressure volume and flow loop, volume loop. Showing pressure time curve on x axis will be the time in seconds, y axis pressure in centimeter of S2O, and this will be the PEEP, then PIP, then PEEP and PIP. This is the pressure time curve. Second is flow time curve. Here x axis is time, y axis is flow, inspiratory flow during inspiration, then during expression, this is the flow. Then third is volume time curve. On x axis is time, y axis is the volume, and this is the tidal volume. This is the volume time scalar curve. Then coming to loops, pressure volume and flow volume loop. So in pressure volume, pressure will be on x axis, volume will be on y axis. Here this will go inspiration, then expression. So this is the pressure volume loop against each other. Then coming to flow volume loop, flow volume loop will be like inspiration, then expression, inspiration and expression. So these five curves we will study in five parts. First today we will discuss about pressure time curve. So coming to pressure time is color graphics. So in pressure time curve, what are the things we can see? What are the things we can interpret in ventilator? So first PIP, PWP, mean airway pressure, we can see. Auto peep, we can detect. Flow adequacy, flow is less or flow is excessive that we can see. Type of breathe, type of breathe means it is mandatory breathe or triggered breathe that we can see. Type of ventilation means it is pressure control or volume control. These things we can see in pressure time curve. So we will see. So in pressure time x axis is the time, y axis is the pressure. Okay. So here pressure this inspiration is starting from it's not starting from zero, it's starting from P. So this one is the PWP. Then here inspiration is starting, inspiratory pressure is increasing and reaching to the PIP. This one maximum pressure during respiratory cycle. This one is the PIP. This one is the PWP. Okay, so PIP and PWP we can see. In, during inspiration time from starting of inspiration, inspiration to the ending of inspiration. From here to here, this one is the inspiratory time. Then from starting of expiration to the ending of expiration, this is the expiratory time. So this is the one's respiratory cycle. Starting inspiration, ending inspiration, then expiration, ending expiration. This complete is the one cycle. Ti plus T. So then what is mean airway pressure? Area under the curve. Area under the curve of a full respiratory cycle. This is the mean airway pressure. So area in under the, this side means this one. This one is total. The area under the curve is the mean airway pressure. Okay. So these things we can see in the pressure time curve. So if you want to increase the mean airway pressure to increase the oxygenation. So what are the things we can do? First, we can increase the PWP. If you increase the PWP, means this area under the curve will increase. Area under the curve will increase. So mean airway pressure will increase. Second option, we can increase the PIP. If you increase the PIP, then also the area under the curve will increase. So mean airway pressure will increase. Third, we can increase the I time. If you increase the I time also, then also this area under the curve will increase. So mean airway pressure will be 
increased so these are the things we can see in the pressure time curve second we can see the auto peep or air trapping also so what will happen in the auto peep this peep will increase in the coming cycles so here peep was this in next cycle peep will be like here your graph will start from here next cycle graph will start from here so it will go up and up up and up like this this is going up and up so this peep is increasing graph is going up and up in next cycles so in ventilator graphics we can see that auto peep is generating air trapping is happening so in auto peep also we can detect in pressure time curve then next we will see the adequacy of the flow so how we can see the adequacy of flow so here flow inspiratory flow is increasing flow is delivering and pressure is increasing reaching to the pip if flow is less then this pressure increase will be very slow like graph will be like this it will increase slowly slowly and it will reach plateau and then it will decrease so it will be like triangular type here flow is less that's why pressure is increasing very slowly if flow is excessive if you have set ventilator flow is very high then what will happen this will increase very rapidly pressure will increase very rapidly like this is very steep and it can overshoot it can overshoot the pip and then will come here and this will be like this so very steep rise overshooting and then plateau and then coming down so this is excessive flow this is the inadequate flow so we don't want this also we don't want this also we want to rise the pressures moderately like like this will increase will go to plateau and then will go to the expression so this one we want like this so this is about adequacy of flow also we can see the pressure type curve next in pressure time curve we can see the type of breathe also means breathe is triggered breathe or untriggered breathe this breathe is triggered by baby or only ventilator is delivering the mandatory breathe so if breathe is triggered by the baby then there will be negative deflection will be there at the starting of the inspiration before starting the inspiration there will be negative deflection of triggered breathe because triggered breathe will be negative that will generate negative pressure so that will be that will create a negative deflection after that it will go to positive that ventilator will deliver the positive breathe he this is the triggered negative deflection then ventilator will do, deliver positive breath so this is the triggered breath this is the untriggered breath here there is no negative deflection so this is the triggered breath this one is the mandatory breath delivered by the ventilator next in pressure time curve we can see the type of ventilation also means it is pressure control or it is volume control in newborn babies or in nicu we generally practice pressure control only but here we can see we can differentiate by pressure time curve so in pressure control ventilation the pressure time curve will be the rectangular shape of the pressure time curve will be the rectangular but in volume control it will be triangular or fin shape it will be fin shape so in pressure control we are controlling the pressure so pressure will reach to the pip maximum pressure that will be maintained for the inspiratory time so plateau will be there because that pressure will be maintained for the inspiratory time and then we we'll go to the expression and then will pressure will drop but in volume control we are controlling the volume so volume will reach required tidal volume will reach so pressure will rise slowly after reaching the required tidal volume pressure will drop and expression will start pressure will drop rapidly so here it will be fin shaped or triangle shaped but in pressure control the shape of the pressure time curve will be rectangular so this was the about pressure time curve in next video we will discuss about flow time curve thank you